Howard Stern Show. When you shaved your mustache off, it was disconcerting to me. Jimmy, you said it too. I and, cried. And, That's yeah. when you... You, you got a tear in your eye when he shaved his mustache. I didn't like it at all. I but I drew it back this season. <laughs> I know Alex, that was, 2000, that was 2001. When you'd make a decision to shave off your mustache, you're probably thinking in your mind, this is not that big a deal, right? Did you go to the producers of the show, the owners of the show? Do you say to, like, I don't know, just King World on the show, I guess? Uh, it, 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 no, I thought it was King World. No, Sony. Sony. Do you go to Sony or do you go to your, someone there who owns it? I was in the makeup room just before we were taping the fifth show that day. We taped five shows a day, normally two days in a row, three weeks on, one week off. And before the fifth show, I said, I'm going to shave my mustache. <laughs> so I cut off half. Were you just sick of the mustache? No, I just did it on a whim. Right. And I, then the producer came over. He said, he said oh, God. Uh, I said, do you want me to come out with half? And he says, oh, no, 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 not half. So I came out, and half the people in the audience didn't notice immediately. Wow. I went home. My wife, my son, and my daughter were sitting in the kitchen, and they didn't notice immediately. And I chatted for a few minutes, and I said, uh, anybody notice anything different about Dad? And then my wife said, oh, my God, you shaved your mustache. He's transitioning. Yeah. <laughs> and my son, who was only 10 at the time, I think, started to cry. It was such a right. big shock. Yeah. It, it, I, for some reason, on you, you know, I'm not a big mustache guy. I had a mustache years ago, but I'm not a big, because it's annoying. And, you know, Most you know, people can't pull it off and, well. Yeah, and, and Alex, well, particularly you, women. And don't you know, <laughs> you're not kidding. And don't you notice, too, that guys with mustaches, a lot of times, they, as an announcer, they're, not, they're unwilling to move their mouth. They want to keep it straight and keep their mustache looking well, and it sort of affects the way they speak even. So I, I'm not a fan of the mustache, but with you, it worked. It, it was yeah. A, it was a betrayal a when, when you shaved that mustache. I actually filed a class action lawsuit. <laughs> 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 How'd you make out with that? Now, now here's something people... Oh, go ahead. You we were gonna say, really I was just going to say look. that uh, it's interesting about mustaches. Probably the, the person with the most famous one, uh, and I defy people to identify which movies. Hitler. Uh, no, Bert, oh. Re Bert Reynolds. Oh. Right. I was you know, going with. I still he, go he with. He would have him. a mustache in one, no mustache in the next film, and you have to be a really <laughs> big Burt Reynolds <laughs> fan uh, to remember where. That's right. Where that mustache showed up. But, yep. but but Jimmy is right. If you had come out with the Hitler mustache, <laughs> that would have set Jeopardy. Could back. have changed everything. That that, that would have been wild. That, that would have that would have you would have brought Maybe it back. Maybe that would have resurrected the Hitler not, mustache. Not since Charlie Charlie Chaplin. Has anyone dared to put the Hitler mustache on? I know. Yeah. But uh, people still ask me at the studio, they say, and usually it's guys in the audience who have mustaches or beards or full uh, beards and mustaches. They say, w are you going to grow it back? But when are you going to grow it some back? Some things are comforting. I found your mustache yeah. comforting. And, and everything in the, in the game show business, too, is likability. And how much do you trust the guy? The Howard Stern Show.